Javier, we're here at EMO 2017 and across this hall there are some very large machines. But walking onto your stand, we see a head that's doing 10,000 RPM. How is that possible? Well, it's possible because we have invested uh, two years trying to develop a, a head with a unique feature in the market. In this case, we have a universal auto indexing head, but it's a spindle mechanical transmission and we can rotate up to 10,000 RPM. And that must be the quickest on the market today, right? Right now, yes. You can find maximum 7,000 RPM, but you cannot find right now, as far as we know, any mechanical head going up to 10,000 RPM. So what are the uses of having a head going to 10,000 RPM? Well, because it is a mechanical head, you have a high torque and a high power, so uh, you can attack some applications, like uh, the stamping dice, for instance, the complete application with just only one head. So you can make roughing, semi-roughing, semi-finishing, and finishing with only one head, instead of investing in two heads, one head for roughing and one head for finishing, which is really, really expensive solution. I guess the alternative would be much slower feed speeds, or in some cases having a secondary head. So you're looking at, at potentially a significant cost saving for using this head. Absolutely. The option one is, okay, I invest in the existing indexing head in the market, mechanical head, normally 6,000 RPM maximum. So when for roughing and semi-roughing and semi-finishing, it's okay. But then when you go to the finishing, maybe 6,000 is not enough. So then you have to reduce the feed rate accordingly. So the productivity will be affected. And the option B is all right. I have enough money so I can buy one head for roughing, mechanical transmission, and one head for finishing, normally electro spindle. Obviously, this is the best but the, the, the cost involved is, is, is huge. So when you're doing th these sorts of speeds on a mechanical head, is there any danger or should somebody be worried about failure on the head? Well, for us, we always design with the same principles, five years warranty, this is our standard policy. So for us, uh, this design, in this design we have considered the normal, let's say, wear parts and wear time and, and spare parts we consider in, in, our, in our other heads. So with your new head then, there's the potential for not only cost saving and increased productivity across the line, but you're still warranting the head for five years. Well, what's not to like about that? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, we, so we offer the most economical solution for some applications, but we're keeping the same level of warranty and obviously giving the same reliability to our customers because otherwise it makes no sense.